welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Cheryl. I love decorating my home with style on a budget and I love to try to make it look a lot more expensive than it really is. And in today's video, we are going to be changing up the little kitchen vignettes that I have sprinkled around my kitchen for summer. So if you are looking for some summer decorating inspiration, make sure you keep watching and if you have not yet subscribed and you love home decor and you love decorating your home with style on a budget this is the channel for you so i would so appreciate it by the end of the video if you enjoyed it that if you would hit the subscribe button tap the notification bell become a member of the i style my style family now let's get to it oh but before we do I want to thank today's video sponsor who is caraway let me tell you a little bit more about them all right, so Caraway, if you didn't know, is a non-toxic cookware company. And they not only offer cookware, they offer, I think they came out with a new kettle line. There are aprons and um, kitchen towels, I believe, mittens, you know, pot and pan mittens. They have a variety of things that you can order from their website, but they're best known for their non-toxic cookware we are all trying at least i am I'm, I'm sure we all are are trying to get healthy we want to be around for a long time for our ourselves our friends our family our grandchildren for me this is particularly important because i'm about to become a mimi again to two new little grandbabies little girls that i cannot wait to meet in the next couple of months so having good health and being around for them is very important to me. So when Caraway reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to review their cookware, I was all on board. I am all about trying to create a healthy lifestyle and with their cookware, because it is non-toxic, you're not putting those chemicals and minerals that you might have in your other pots and pans that you get from your other manufacturers. So Caraway, because it is non-toxic and they put a little more love into their cookware, it is a little more expensive, so it is going to be an investment. But hey, we buy home decor. We invest in our homes, right? Why not invest in ourselves and our bodies? So even though it's a little more expensive, I do think it is worth it in the end if it is going to prolong our health and longevity by not having those toxins in our lives. So let me go ahead and show you the cookware. All right, so this is how the cookware comes. It comes in this, I would say, aesthetically a pleasing, aesthetically pleasing box. So we're gonna go ahead and open it up and take a look at our cookware. If I could get the box open. <laughs> this is heavy, so hold on. Let me open it up and then we'll take a look at it. I will say it is very well packaged. It was a struggle. All right, so. This goes to show the quality because it is really heavy. All right, so this is how it looks comes to you like this and I'm gonna get rid of this big box so let's go ahead and take the items out of the box hold on all right so we've got the cookware out of the big box and this is how it looks when you take it out of the box so you have your saute pan you have your fry pan, you have your Dutch oven and your sauce and your saucepan. In addition, you also have your lid, which come separately in a separate box. Let's 
go ahead, open that up. This is how your lids look. And they come already in their own little storage. All right, so here's the cookware. The lids themselves come in their own little storage case. And you can hang these. Let's take them out of the package. I chose this pretty gray and silver color, but Caraway offers a ton of color options. If you are someone who likes bright colors, they have every color in the rainbow that you can choose from. So you can customize it to your kitchen and to your liking. You guys know I love black and white decor. And normally I would choose black, but I already have black cookware. So I wanted to choose this. Look how pretty these are. Oh my gosh. And they complement my home so well. You know, I decorate in the black and white aesthetic. I also use gray and silver, and these are perfect in my home and in my kitchen. So I absolutely love the way they're stored, and they also come with their own little self adhesive um, backings that you can tape to your cabinet and stick on to just hang them in your cabinet like so. Absolutely love that. Again, this is how the cookware looks. So, so pretty. All right, so you also get these holders that are magnetic that you can use to store your cookware. I'll show you how they go together, just like so. Very, very nice. You can put this in the cabinet or store it on your counter, your island, wherever you want to store it. So let's take it out and look at it a little further. All right, so here's how the cookware is looking. Let's move the lids over and move this forward. First impressions of this cookware is it's heavy. As you guys saw me struggle to get it out of the box. It's heavy, guys. It has some weight to it. As you can see, the non-stick coating, again, it is non-toxic, perfect for those who wish to remove free of toxins. I know my daughter is a stickler about that so, so, so much. So I, I think I might even get a set of these for her and her family, especially because she has the new babies coming and she'll want them to have, you know, the best quality of care, the best food that she can prepare for them. And because this cookware is non-toxic, you won't be leaching any chemicals into your food. I think this will be perfect for her. So again, I absolutely love it. I love the storage. I love the lids and the storage um, little pouch that it comes with. And it also comes with some trivets, as you can see here, and a booklet on how to care for your cookware. You're making an investment in your cookware, so you wanna make sure it lasts a lifetime. At least I do. So their mission statement is, we're on a mission to craft well-designed, non-toxic ceramic cookware that thoughtfully raises the standards of what you cook with. Simply put, our products are, are designed to make your life easier and healthier. Enjoy. So I went over everything that it comes with, but here it is again. And it gives you care, care instructions. All right, so here's the cookware set. I am so excited to use it. I am excited for the benefits it's gonna provide for me and my family. And I wanna thank Caraway so much for reaching out to me and asking me to review their cookware set. I know I'm going to have it for years to come. I will leave a link 
for their website as well. That includes a discount code, so you can go and purchase your own cookware. Again, it is an investment in your health, guys, but if we're going to invest in anything, why not our health? All right, guys, so I'm so happy to have received this cookware from Caraway. Again, it is an investment, but if you are spending money for other things around your house, why not invest in yourself? It is something that's gonna last you for a lifetime and it's a healthy benefit to you and to your whole family. So I will leave a link for Caraway listed in the description box down below. There is a discount code where you can get, I think it's 10 or 15% off. So make an investment in yourself, guys. Make an investment into your family and get yourself a set of Caraway cookware. I'm sure you will not regret it. So Caraway, thank you again for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into decorating. I am gonna change or add rather these kitchen towels to the stove that I picked up from Tuesday morning. I think I'm $7.99 a piece. Tuesday morning actually went out of business in my area. Business in yours as well. Um, I know it may have for some of you, but that is how our um, towels look. Just bring in a pop of brightness to the kitchen. So I got these labels from Amazon, and I thought it would be cute to put on our oil and syrup bottles. You know, to give them a very aesthetically pleasing appearance. You see that all the time in other YouTubers' homes, and I've done it before, but the labels, um, the printing washed away. Let me show you. All right, so here are our bottles, and as you can see, the ink has faded from our bottles, and they're supposed to be wipeable labels, I'm guessing, that's why the ink has come off so easily, but we're gonna replace them. I'm sure it's gonna come off again, but at least we'll make them look pretty for a while. So let's do that. All right, let's take these labels off. It does not look like it's gonna be an easy task. Yep. I have to run these under some hot water to get this off. So hold on. All right. So our labels are off. If you didn't know, if you put your anything that you're trying to remove that won't remove easily, like a label, run it underneath some hot water. Then it'll come right off. It, the hot water loosens up the adhesive that's holding it on. So, all right, they are nice, clean, and dry. So, let's go ahead and put on new labels. Can I get this centered? Change the way my horse belt is. And there we go. See that? Good as new. I'm gonna do the other one. Actually, you know what? That was not avocado oil, that was grape seed oil. <laughs> um, let's take this one off. Come on. I just put it on, so it should be 
easy to remove, except for this little part. Grapeseed oil, girl. Grapeseed, not olive. Regular olive. Pretty, pretty. So I got these from Amazon. I will leave them linked down below. They come with a variety of labels like soy sauce, fish sauce, wine, balsamic vinegar, just peanut, sesame. So if you're looking for labels, I will leave these linked. And you can find them in my Amazon storefront, which you can shop 24 seven. Anytime I mention anything that I purchase on Amazon, you will find it on my Amazon storefront. And if you purchase there, you do get a small commission. So I wanna thank you in advance if you do that. These bottles also came from Amazon. Just look how pretty these are. Great way to bring an aesthetic appearance to your cooking oil and make your kitchen look pretty. So let's set them out. All right, so here's our bottles. So, so pretty. And I'm just gonna set them here just like this, turn the spout around on that one. And look at that, it looks so cute. The gold goes along with the gold of my utensil holder. That came from Home Goods last year when we were doing our moody fall vibe. And these um, also I brought in when I was doing my moody fall vibe. So yeah, there's that. attention over to this area. This is what we're going to work on next. These little marble salt and pepper cellars came from Amazon. Again, these will be linked in my Amazon storefront in case you're interested, but I got both of these for like $22. I want to say the little marble pedestal came from Home Goods many, many moons ago. This uh, cutting board came from Ross. This also came from Home Goods. The marble. Let me just bring you closer. All right. So this wood cutting board came from Ross, Amazon, Home Goods, Target for five dollars. This came from Home Goods. This came from the Dollar General. This came from Ross, Home Goods, and I think Thrifted. But yeah, this is how this little vignette is looking now. It's how it looked when I put it together for spring. And the candle came from Target as well. It is cedar wood and musk. It smells so, so good. Um, and I'm gonna leave that there. And I think the only thing I'm gonna change in this vignette is the greenery. I love the fern. We could keep it here, but I wanna try this bowl. I repainted it so it's still slightly wet, but it's a DIY. And I'm thinking about bringing in this bowl and using some greenery like this piece here. And it would like sit right down in here. I can't put it in right now because it's wet, but once it's dry, that's the plan. I think it looks so perfect for summer. And we can even add in these little things. I forget what these are called. But I like them so we might do that but we're gonna let that dry and then come back to it all right and this is how our little vignette looks over here in the corner we just added our greenery and it looks perfect for summer again we're leaving our candle cutting boards we just changed uh, the greenery and it's giving us a whole fresh new look for summer absolutely love it All 
All right, so here is how the vignette looks from spring over in this area. And then I think the only thing we're gonna change out is the floral here. We've got the same labels over here. Again, everything looks so aesthetically pleasing. I need to get some pastries to go in there. This is how this area is looking. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do a succulent in this little black bowl. For summer, I like to use succulents and these are the succulents that I have. So, so pretty. Um, so which one will I use? Because the base is small. But I think succulents are perfect for summer. Look at that. So, so pretty. These came, these three, from Michael's many, many years ago. This one came from CB2 many moons ago. I love the aesthetic of them all. But yeah, so let's see which one we're going to use. Okie dokie. Take the ropes out. Um, let's see, what about this one? I set it here. How does that look? Well, it's okay. Maybe if we add these two together, how would that look? This one doesn't have a stem, so it's a little difficult to get it to stem. How does that look? Hmm. We also have this one. But we're using that on the other side of the kitchen, so I think I'll use that one. But we also have this one. This one has a thick stem on it. I don't know. I can bend it. Maybe that one along with this one. This one. How does that look? <laughs> Maybe we just put our roses back in and add a succulent. How about that? Because I think the succulent alone is a little too plain. But I like that. Look how pretty that is. Maybe add in this other one coming this a little bit. I think that's cute. Yes, I like that. All right, so that's the only thing we're gonna change here. Let's keep our little sign and our candle. This one is Rustic Palo Santo. I like to light the candles in the evening for a little moody ambiance. You guys know I love a good moody vibe. So there's that. remember the vignette that we did here on my island. I am loving it still. This is how it looks. Artichokes again bring in the greenery. So artichokes, succulents, those are the things I like to use for summer decorating in my kitchen. I think this looks perfect so we don't need to do anything to it. All right, I did take the plant from the other side and I added it over here for a pop of green, so like that. All right, you may remember the kitchen vignette that we did here in the spring. It was my moody kitchen vibe. And so, yeah, I'm gonna take that away. And for summer, I think I wanna leave the prints because 
I don't know guys, I just love them. But we'll change up the floral here and leave the prints. All right, so on this side, as I said, I'm going to keep these in the light because I love it. Um, the Nespresso stays here. Um, the only thing we're gonna change, I think, is just the greenery. We have this and I like it, so I'm thinking maybe we can add a succulent in it, in it, if I could talk, to give it a different look for summer. How does that look? Or we could put this one in, like we did on the other side, and the other coffee bar. How does that look? Do you like that one, that look, or this look? Kind of like this look, but we have that same look over on the other side. Would that be too much? I don't think so, we're gonna leave it. And then I wanna add in a drying mat. And this one, it's a little long. Can we make it work? This came from Home Goods. I think that works. Oh, you can't even see. <laughs> There's a drying mat. And then our sign that tells us where it, whether the dishes are clean or dirty. So yeah, just a simple spruce, nothing major, but I like it. up these um, little metal chair backs a few months ago. Well, today I'm going to try to add them to the back of my chair. As you guys know, I always love changing things up like this table used to be gray and I painted it black. I had different dining chairs. We got new dining chairs from Target and I like them but I just wanna switch them up. So remember I told you I wanted to try to add these to the back of the chair. I think it would look so good. And so I don't want it to be permanent, so I have this double-sided tape. So my plan is to take, let me back up, can you see that? Take this and we'll measure because I want them about three or four inches down and to be in the center and just stick it on the back of the chair. Again, not to be permanent, but then that is how it would look. Let's back up and see if we like it, how it looks. I think that looks cute. What do you think? I like it. Again, I don't want it to be permanent, but it gives the chairs a completely different look. And we picked these up for $8, I think. I'll leave them up here on the screen so you can check it out, but I love it. Whole new look for less. We got six chairs. We have eight of these. Yeah, I think it was worth it. All right, so since we have our first one on, and it looks so good, gonna go ahead and do the rest. So I'm gonna measure and it's about four inches down. Ugh. All right, let's do this. Okay. 
double sided tape and stick it on our backing like that. And then we'll peel off the back. This is the hard part for me because I took my acrylic nails off and my nails are short so I don't have anything <laughs> to grip this tape with. There we go. So there's that. Measure. Eyeballing, it looks like it's about center to me. And then we're going to take him and stick him. Actually, I need to cut off this excess first. Forgot to do that. Step back and see if it's the same. Looks pretty good to me. What do you think? I like it, so I'm gonna do the rest and I'll show you the finished look. the chairs a whole new vibe absolutely love it so think outside the box as I said you, you guys know I love to change things up and I will paint things DIY things upcycle things and yeah just adding the pullbacks to these chairs gave it a whole new look and it's temporary if we don't like it we can take it off because we use double-sided tape these are vinyl chairs so i don't think i will have any trouble removing the double-sided tape and it's really light and i didn't press them on really hard either but i absolutely love the way these look leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of this simple upcycle but i love it and I hope you do as well. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. We did spruce up our kitchen vignettes, nothing too drastic, but I loved how everything turned out. I hope you do as well. Again, thank you Caraway for sponsoring today's video. I will leave a link in the description box down below where you can go visit their site, get 10% off. And yeah, it's an investment in your health, one that I think you will highly enjoy. I mean, if I can spend $500 for a lamp that is just a piece of decor, you know, I can invest $500 into a nice cookware set. So make sure you go check them out. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, become a member of the iStyle My Style family. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the pulls on the chairs and which was your favorite vignette. And I hope to see you in the next one.